up guys, this is the Legit Strategies here, and today I've just got a quick video talking about a tweet that Michael Condre put out. So basically he revealed the top 5 guns KD in Advanced Warfare. So these are the actual guns KD ratios for themselves, for the guns. Basically when you use a gun in the game, if you get a decent KD, it'll be calculated towards the guns KD stats. So these are the guns that have been used the best to get better KDs. I'll do it in order from the 5th to the 1st. So basically some of these guns you wouldn't really expect to be in it, but I'll stop stalling and I'll get straight into it. So basically at number 5 we've got the Pytech Loophole, which is actually a heavy weapon. This is an elite version of the Pytech, and it only ups the accuracy by 1 and actually takes the handling down by 3, and it does add a bit more ammo. So really looking at it, it's not really the best gun to be honest, but maybe people when they play with it they must sit back maybe, try and camp it out and get a good KD going, I don't know. But apparently that is the fifth. In fourth, we've got an obvious choice, which is the BAL27 Obsidian Steed. I mean, although it is an obvious choice, a lot of people do use it, which means noobs could use it who aren't quite as good and get a bad KD with it. But apparently players managed to play pretty well with the Obsidian Steed, and it's managed to get fourth on the KD stats. So its damage is upped by two, since it is the elite variant. And it also pluses one to the mobility, it also minuses one to the accuracy, fire rate and handling. Which isn't too bad, this is probably one of the best guns in the game for all around playing. At third we have the HBRA3 Insanity, which is another elite variant. This ups the damage by one and increases the fire rate by two, but takes the handling down by one. So overall that's a pretty good trade off, you can't actually have attachments with that, so that is pretty bad. But I guess players have still managed to play well with it because it's got the third best KD stats out of the weapons. So it must work pretty well. Now the top two are kind of a bit of a shock. You wouldn't really expect them to be what they are. So in second we have the Ameli, the heavy variant, which is actually an enlisted version of the weapon. All it does is adds one to the damage and takes one off the handling. So I guess not as many people have used this and that's how it's managed to get really good KD stats. But I'm not too sure. Maybe players use it on hardcore, I don't know, but apparently this is the second best KD ratio weapon. Now first, a lot of people are going to be thinking ASM1 speakeasy, but a lot of people do use that so it hasn't even got into the top 5, because obviously players who aren't quite as good are using it and getting the KD down for it. So in number 1 we have the ARX 160 hole puncher variant. That's a professional variant, again not an elite, the steel bite could have been in, but the steel bite isn't in the top 5. So, number one is the hole puncher for the ARX. This actually increases two of the damage, which is pretty good, but takes down one accuracy and one handling. Overall, that's a pretty decent trade-off. I guess a lot of players might have used this in Search and Destroy. You can kind of tell that this would have a high KD, because a lot of new players wouldn't really use this gun. They go for the battle of the ASM1 or something, and not really many people think about the ARX. Obviously, players who are quite good have been using it a lot and getting the KD up on it. So anyway, I thought this would just be a quite cool video to share with you if you hadn't seen the tweet. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like if you have, leave a comment letting me know what you think about this, and what guns you thought was going to be in the top 5, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.